Hello everyone, I'm Ben. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we are back with part three of the cable management series. We have this setup over here. It's pretty big. We're going to be cable managing this guy today and just hopefully getting it all done today as well. And then we got this setup over here that we're going to be finishing up the cable management work on. As we have the DisplayPort cable that we ordered and talked about in part two. This is finally here. However, the one thing we don't have and uh, is kind of going to be finished off camera is the white velcro cable ties that i talked about now i ran out of them so uh, i've ordered some more they're going to come on april the 4th so it's uh, a few days away from now so uh yeah i'm gonna just you know do all that stuff off camera once those arrive but luckily what has arrived is these black ones so we have black visual velcro cable ties that came in i have 40 here we also have these cable clips that i bought on amazon these other cable clips that I also bought on Amazon. We have Unibond, no more nails. We have two more rolls. So hopefully they're going to be good enough to hold a power strip to the bottom of the desk. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I also bought a uh, sticky stuff remover on Amazon. I don't know if this is any good. Uh, I'm kind of doubting that it's going to work at all, but hopefully it does work as uh, like I've got a cloth here where, you know, we're going to spray a bit of this on that. And then hopefully that's going to assist us in removing the um, colossal amount of adhesive that's beneath this desk right now as we're going to be tearing down the cable management in this setup and then redoing it all again this time making it much better and much more organized as this this is not organized this is a mess we have the power strip just dangling down here dragging everything else down with it we have like cables there cables there cables there it's a mess, all right? And there's so many freaking cables. Like, this needs to be sorted out ASAP, really. So, that's what we're gonna do today. But before we, you know, sort it all out, we have to tear it all down first, which is gonna take probably an hour or so, maybe more. There is so much work that needs to be done. It is unreal. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Uh, I have a hairdryer over here. Now, uh, if this sticky stuff remover doesn't work at all for some reason, we're gonna use the hairdryer method by using the hairdryer to heat up the sticky pads or you know the adhesive and then scraping it off with like some um, I fix it stuff so we have like this scraper thing so we're gonna heat it up scrape it off if this thing doesn't work which I have a feeling it might not but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens well that said I guess let's jump straight into it dude and tear down this cable management <laughs> So it's been probably like an hour or two since we began on this project on the main setup here and uh, I've just finished taking off all the adhesive and all of the cables as well or at least most of the cables oh my god I am speechless um, there's a um, there's a few cables on the bed here uh, just a few we have um yeah just a few cables just a few cables these aren't even all of them uh, so these all all of these cables here were beneath my desk and Then we have a few more that I didn't bother taking off entirely So we have the keyboard wire here the stream deck the razor wireless charger. We have a uh, three Philips Hue light on um, things here. So Yeah, there's a lot of cables here as well. We have a subwoofer cable. Oh My god beneath the desk though things are looking better. All right There's even more cables down here that I didn't remove yet, but I'm leaving those. I can't be asked. Um, so it looks much cleaner. I've managed to pretty much completely remove every bit of adhesive there was beneath this desk. It took so long, my hands started to hurt, but we did it. And the desk looks nearly brand new, except for the you know the holes I've drilled in in here in the past. But apart from that, it looks like almost brand new. Uh, my method was to use the hairdryer and then just scrape it off. That worked very well. Oh my God. I'm glad I'm done. But what I'm not glad about is the fact that I have to rebuild all of this and re-cable manage all the setup. It's gonna take so long. <laughs> it, this is going to take me hours. But I think because the setup is like in this state right now where it's pretty much disassembled, like everything's been torn apart. Uh, I think I'm gonna take advantage of this 
and take off all the monitors, take the mouse mode off, the PC off, and just wipe down the whole desk to, you know, get rid of any dust and stuff like that. So just kind of wipe the entire desk down, get it ready for its new <laughs> cable management overhaul and stuff. And just like, it'll be a complete setup rebuild by the end of this. All right, so it's the next day. We're back on this setup for now and uh, we're going to finish it up. We have the new display port cable that came in and uh, hopefully it's long enough. Now, uh, now that I kind of think about it, uh, it should be okay. I think I bought the one meter cable. So one meter display port cable for this 4K BenQ monitor and uh, hopefully it's all good. If this isn't long enough, I think I kind of messed up. I think I need two meters. All right, uh, yeah, I messed up. I need like a two meter DisplayPort cable, not a one meter one. All right, I have to order a new one. But regardless of this uh, DisplayPort cable situation, uh, it, you know, it still works, it's all good, and uh, the cable management's not too bad, even with this like five meter display port cable wrapped beneath the desk there. But uh, we've added some changes since the previous time we were here. So I've added a motion sensor. Oh, that almost dropped. I've added the motion sensor beneath this desk, and that motion sensor is connected to the LED strip behind the desk there. So uh, I can hopefully demonstrate this on camera without anything going wrong, so I can uh, turn this LED strip off via Apple HomeKit and then when I go in here okay it didn't work when I go on the setup no no after one minute of inactivity the LED strip turns off as you saw there and then when we get close to it it turns back on dude y'all saw that y'all saw that I didn't touch the phone I didn't do nothing it just did that all by itself, thanks to the motion sensor there. So that's all pretty cool, I guess. You know, when you get near it, it turns the Philips Hue LED strip on. That is a Philips Hue motion sensor there beneath the desk. So I think that's a pretty neat little addition to the setup. It's uh, quite unique, you know, it's pretty cool. But uh, apart from that, we've bought a bunch of stuff for the other setup. So we've bought some USB hubs. I have this one and then I bought another one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I bought this one here as well. So these are all like individually switched so you can turn each uh, USB port on and off, which is dope. And uh, apart from that, we also have uh, like micro SD card readers. Now, this is the one I featured like a few videos ago and it was really good, but I found an even better one that I think is cheaper as well. This Sandus one can do like 280 megabytes per second on my SD card, which is insane. Uh, that's like 30 megabytes more than the Sony one I was using. So I'm very pleased with this. This is type C as well. So uh, the only way to actually kind of achieve that kind of uh, read and write speed on your SD card through this is by plugging it into type C. So I've bought myself a type C extension cable that arrives probably in the next like 10 minutes from Amazon. So uh, that's all going to be set up. And uh, the entire SD card setup beneath my main setup is going to be uh, as follows. So we're going to have two micro SD card readers, both USB 3.0. These are limited to, I think, around 90 megabytes per second. And we're gonna pair it with this SanDisk monster right here, which can just do crazy read and write performance on my SD card, which is just gonna be awesome. So uh, all those will be stuck beneath my my main setup there. But first I need like some, some extension cables, uh, you know, to get it all connected and all. But apart from that though, this setup is like near complete. Like I'm really happy with it. We got Chroma there, we got, you know, some Razer peripherals, we have a server. I might be moving the server somewhere else and putting the PC on the desk. I think that would be more appropriate and just better. But uh, for now, the server is there, the PC is here. And um, I've tidied up the cable management with the white Velcro cable ties as they did come in a day early. Right, so beside this PC here, we have Velcro, 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 Velcro. So much Velcro everywhere. But these are all here for a very good reason. We have uh, two power cables and an ethernet cable there and then another ethernet cable running there. So, you know, two power cables coming from there and then two ethernet cables coming from there. Uh, it all works very well. We got, you know, Velcro cable ties just everywhere. Just, you know, grouping all the cables together. We have, we have this jumbled mess there as well, but hopefully, you know, you can ignore that. But uh, yeah, all the cables are nicely wrapped to the table leg beneath here. It's not looking too bad. We have a power strip there, a power strip there and like a USB uh, hub over there as well from RAF Power. Check them out down below in the description as they did send me one of those over to use in the setup. But yeah, setup's looking good apart from it being, you know, a mess covered with wires and stuff, which will be cleaned up soon. But yeah, very happy with it guys, very, very happy with it. But apart from all that though, thank you all so much for watching part three of the cable management series. The next one will be called Rebuilding My Setup. It'll probably be like a two part series or maybe just one part video. I don't know, but uh, that's gonna be for the main setup. 
complete setup rebuild, complete KO management rebuild. It's going to be good. Apart from that though, thanks for watching once again and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.